Clinton Global Initiative, the 42nd President of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you. Now, I would like to invite Connie Yowell of the MacArthur Foundation, Mark Sermon of Mozilla Foundation, and David Theo Goldberg of the University of California for the next commitment. Diplomas and skill certifications are used by potential employers and college admissions officers to identify a candidate's capacity to complete a course of study or do a job. For a person to remain competitive in today's workforce, there must be continual learning. But traditional assessment tools are narrow in scope and often aren't able to communicate everything a person knows or has achieved. In order to capture the many and often informal ways that students and workers acquire knowledge and skills, and to enable institutions to recognize their accomplishments, we must embrace a more modern and comprehensive credentialing system. So the MacArthur Foundation and its partners are committing to unlock new opportunities for educational and career advancements by expanding the ecosystem of organizations that issue and recognize so-called digital badges. A digital badge is a virtual emblem that represents specific knowledge or skills gained in both formal and informal settings. Over the next three years, this commitment will provide more than 40 large, large employers, professional societies, and educational institutions with the outreach and technical support needed to increase the number of organizations that issue and recognize digital badges. By helping individuals communicate a more detailed pictures of their diverse abilities, and by making it easier for educational institutions and employers to identify qualified candidates, this commitment will create new paths to advancement for a million students and a million workers by 2016. Let's give them a big hand. This is a really good thing. Uh, l let me say, I, I got interested in this because um, of my concern that the unemployment rate among returning military veterans persisted for years after the financial crisis at about 25 percent higher than the national average. And veterans were repeatedly required to go back to college and get degrees in subjects where the study involved far less scope of responsibility than they had already shouldered as members of the military. So it may be that some of the principal beneficiaries of this are people who have served our country in the various military services and their ability to flow more quickly into appropriate jobs in the economy will benefit all of us. So I think it's a great, great commitment, and I, I thank uh, all of our uh, folks, the MacArthur Foundation, the Mozilla Foundation, the University of California. <clears throat> 